Okay, good day everyone, welcome to the video. In this one I'm going to talk about invoice reminders and how they can be used to make your life a lot easier. So once again, we're in the demo company here in Xero. Um, now invoice reminders are great because they allow you to automate, automate the accounts receivable function. Uh, you can save time chasing up debtors, uh, you can remove having to have awkward conversations. Um, I mean, no one likes having to ask for money from their customers, um, but you know, it's an essential part of running a business, but you can allow this to automatically send out emails um, at different time intervals to um, take out that little awkward task for you and to gently prompt your customer to um, just let them know that you would appreciate payment. Um, it will also reduce your chance of forgetting you won't send, set reminders anymore to send um, to go into look at the invoices and see anything that's over sort of 28 days or whatever 30 days and send reminders you can just set this to automate so you can forget about it and let that do your job you still want to keep a bit of an eye on it maybe send out a statement once a month but um, at least you know that your customer knows that um, they still owe you money for the work you did um, and the other great thing is that because you can set these automatic reminders going out to your customers, it can speed up the cash flow for your business. So generally, uh, you might put off chasing up outstanding monies, but if this is going to prompt your customers to pay, pay it quickly, quicker, and it generally does, it's going to mean money's coming into your business on a faster time frame, and it means you're less likely to get caught out paying your payroll and whatnot. All right, so let's have a look at it. Uh, we're going to go to business invoices. Okay, so here we can see all our invoices here. You can see here invoice reminders off. We're going to click on that. And you can see up here, it's taken us to the invoice settings into the invoice reminder section, which is a, just a little shortcut. Or we can go through the other way here, settings, invoice settings. And invoice reminders. So yeah, it's just a shortcut to the same place. So there's a little bit of a help menu here that you can learn how to do more. We don't need that for the sake of the video, but you can click on that yourself if you have a couple of other things you need to look at. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on email customers when an invoice is. Click the grayed out box and now it's active. And you can see here, we've got three reminders. One, to go out when the invoice is seven days overdue. So this is not when, this is not seven days after the invoice was raised, but seven days when it's overdue. So if you're operating on 14 day terms, this reminder will be sent out on day 21, not day seven. And uh, then we've got 14, 21, and you can keep adding them. And of course, you can edit these to change this from seven to 10 or from 14 to 30 or whatever you wanna do. And the beauty of having the flexibility to have several different reminders um, at the time intervals that you choose is that you have a different template for each reminder. And you can see here, it's just got a pretty stock standard template. Thanks for working with us. Your bill was due on the due date. Uh, pulls this from the system. If you've already paid it, please, already paid it, please ignore this email and sorry for bothering you. If not, please do as soon as possible. So it's a quite a nice message. Let's see if the 21 days is the same or any different. Okay, it just looks a bit, uh, let me just check that. Yeah, so they're the same by the looks of it. So it just says down the bottom, if you have any questions or want to arrange alternative payment, please don't hesitate to get in touch. So what you would generally do and this is fully customizable, which is fantastic, um, is that you start off, you know, just keep it all very nice as you would. You know, they're your customers. The only reason you're in business is because they're buying from you and you want to keep relations good and keep your business going so you can make money and so your employees can have a job. Um, so 
you know, you start off quite gently, of course, and then, you know, you might start to step up the language a little bit if it's sort of 21 days overdue. And if you're on 30 day terms, for instance, that means you have 51 days since the um, invoice would have been raised and sent. So you might at some point, and of course it's up to you whether you would do this at 21 days overdue or you might wanna push it out further. Um, you know, you'd start to step up the language a little bit more um, to the point where by the time you send out your last reminder, when it is very overdue, you might say um, something like, unfortunately, uh, we have tried to contact you on many occasions. And of course, you would have followed up by the phone and some direct emails, of course, um, in the meantime, you wouldn't just jump to this point. Um, but yeah, back to what you might say, you might say something like, unfortunately, we've tried to contact you on uh, numerous occasions, you have failed to pay. Um, please make payment by, you know, seven days or whatever from this date. If you fail to make payment, we may have no choice but to uh, contact an agency for debt collection. So that's sort of like your final step. So you'd, you know, start off, keep things very nice, of course, and then slowly, slowly um, step up your language because you need to get paid, you did the work, but you don't want to come across too aggressive as well. But the beauty of it is there's full flexibility here to spread it out and vary the language as much as you feel is appropriate. So, all right, we've got three here. Let's just add another one. And we'll say overdue by 60 days. And, you know, we might just say, you know, um, please, just like I said just then, please, um, uh, pay immediately or we will be forced, regrettably forced and sorry guys I'm not the best speller, forced to take further action um, or you might say refer a debt collection agency, something like that. So we've got that sort of one with a heavier language at 60 days overdue, which, you know, if you're on 30 day terms, that'd be 90 days after invoice date. So that's fair enough. You'd want to be getting paid by that point. And you'll see down the bottom here, we have some other options that you can click on or off just to include a link to an online invoice. Yes, include a link to a PDF. Yes, definitely want to have that. You defaults to those two anyway. And you can say to not send reminders for an invoice under a certain amount if it's not worth chasing up small invoices. So let's now go back to the main invoice screen. Okay, so what will happen is on the far right hand side here, you're going to have another column for invoice reminders. And you can see here it now says invoice reminders on before it said invoice reminders off. Now let's just raise a new invoice and see if it makes this right hand column pop up. Okay, this is gonna to go to Tramways Coffee Test Invoice for $1. Excluding GST, and we're going to prove that. Oh, I just need to put the due date in there. And this is invoice 1043. So let's go back to our invoices. And sorry, I'm on a bit of a slow internet connection the last couple of weeks, guys, so bear with me. Tramways Coffee House. So let's have a look at this. See, no column popped up here. Normally there's a column saying it'll tell you one invoice reminders have been sent, two reminders have been sent, three reminders have been sent, or all reminders have been sent. So it'll tell you the status of where they are. 
but we'll go into this invoice now. And you can see here, what happens is when we switch the invoice, invoice reminders on, it switches it on for everything, but I believe it's only for everything after that point when you switch the invoices on. I don't think it will backdate and send reminders out on invoices from the past. So we're gonna go, we can see invoice reminders are on for this one. We can also go turn reminders off. And what you can do guys is you can turn off reminders for a particular supplier, customer rather, or a particular invoice. So you can see here, it says now, invoice reminders are turned off for invoice. That's in this invoice only. Or up here, you can click this button if you want to turn off reminders for all invoices going to this customer, Tramways Coffee House. So if I click, so at the moment, every invoice will be getting a reminder except for this invoice. If I click this, every invoice will be getting a reminder except for anything from this one customer, Tramways. So there's some good flexibility is there, there as well. And now you can see invoice reminders turn off for Tramways Coffee House. And you see this change to turned off for contact. So everything for that customer. So that's just about it guys. And here we go. This is what I was talking about. See on the far right side, we've got this new column here, reminders. And because there's something to report on that we actually turned off uh, the reminders for this contact, is telling us here. If it was just turned off for that particular invoice, it would just say turned off for this invoice. If it wasn't turned off, it would say nothing until the first reminder gets sent and then it will say one cent or two cent or whatever it may be. So that's pretty much it guys. It's just a very simple way to make your life easier, to remove those awkward and sometimes diff difficult conversations and to basically automate the debtors function to save you time, to save you headache, and to speed up your cash flow. So I think it's a no-brainer. I definitely do it. Sometimes I turn them off, but um, you know, it just it's just nice to know that because sometimes your customers they don't they just forget they're so busy anyway. So um, you know, they probably want to be reminded. Some of them, some of them probably don't. But yeah, it's just a really good way to make that whole chasing up money thing just a little bit easier. All right, that's it for the video, guys. If you want to book in a training session with us for some uh, training on whatever it may be, we can tailor it to your industry or your problem or whatever it may be, just let us know. Go to the link down the bottom, qtraining.net.au. Um, we also offer bookkeeping as part of a different part of the business that I'm involved with. Uh, if you want to get us in for some bookkeeping, maybe you want to... Um, you want to outsource, outsource your bookkeeping or provide leave coverage or just uh, fill in until you hire someone else, you can go to qbookkeeping.com.au. So if you have any questions, let us know in the bottom. If you want to see more training videos and things that will help your bookkeeping experience, please subscribe. If you got any from the video, any value from the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button. It'll help uh, basically get more videos out there to people who want to see them. So thanks a lot guys and see you in the next one.